Hello, this is Mike Oliver with another How to Grow Your Small Business, tip number 61. Fuel your future growth by using a net promoter score in your page. What is a net promoter score? I'll show you some examples in a moment, but basically it's a simple survey. It takes just a few seconds to fill out and your, the visitors to your site, especially your customers, will respond and give you valuable feedback that you can then use to change your approach, change your products, whatever it might be. So how do you apply this tip? You want to make a, a, a concerted effort, a good read on the articles that I'm going to list later so that you'll understand what the Net Promoter Score is all about and and how you can interpret the results. Then you want to publish your uh, Net Promoter Score uh, on your website or in email or uh, with a follow-up message, you know, some way to get the feedback from your customers. And then you want to evaluate those results and feedback and make improvements either on your website, on your customer service, on your products, Whatever feedback you get, you then use that information to improve your business. So here are a few examples. This is a famous one. It's listed in one of the articles and, and it's about Groove. That was a peer-to-peer -peer product uh, from a decade ago or so. Uh, but this is, this is basically all you need to see. It's a one to 10 score. And it says, how likely are you to recommend Groove to a friend or colleague? Now, if you, if you see that it also has a single question on why, what's the most important reason for your score? Those two pieces of information combined to give you your, your NPS, your net promoter score. Now, here's another one. Bear metrics, same thing. How likely are you to recommend bear metrics to a friend or colleague? Followed by why. Here's another one. How likely are you to recommend a dollar shave club to a friend? And then after they select, you'll get an, an input why. Now, what what it boils down to is that if they select number nine or number 10, they are promoters. They will promote your product. So you really want to listen to why they are going to do that. If they're seven or eight, then they're passive. Eh, you know, yeah, I probably will, but I'm not really enthusiastic about it. A six or below is a detractor. A six or below is somebody who's not too terribly satisfied and that might provide you even more valuable information. So, the tools. Qualaroo. Qualaroo is one that, uh, that specifically tailors its product and service to the net promoter score. SurveyMonkey also will do that, and Promoter.io will do that. So, those are the three tools that, that really fit with this uh, particular tip. The uh, Groove case study, NPS case study from Groove, and this is from the, the CEO of Groove, who is also uh, the, the creator of Lotus and a few other things, so it's a very, uh, very high-end uh, article for you to read. What is the net promoter score? That actually comes from Qualaroo. So it's a, it's a good way to get started. And, and then understanding the net promoter score is, an in, is a blog article that, uh, that gives you a little more insight into how to interpret the values and, and go from there. So thank you very much. I hope this has been beneficial for you. And I look forward to seeing your net promoter score.